Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und Hallo zu einem weiteren Part Persona 4 Golden. Ich bin es, euer MC Mafix. Langsam nichtet sich, lichtet sich der Nebel und wir kommen der Wahrheit immer näher. Wir haben ja schon lange abgeschlossen, dass Namatame der Einzige ist, der hinter diesen ganzen Midnight Channel Morden steckt. Irgendjemand anders muss dort auch noch seine Finger im Spiel haben. Und so wie es aussieht, haben wir gerade eine Theorie aufgestellt, die sich vermutlich sogar als wahr herausstellen könnte. Adachi-san. Unser Freund... In in, mit einem Fragezeichen hinter, mit einem dicken Fragezeichen dahinter. Adachi war an jedem der Fälle immer teilweise beteiligt. Er ist ein Polizist, keiner würde ihn verdächtigen. Wir haben erfahren, dass er auch mit der äh, Miss Yamano, dass er ihr Begleitschutz war. Und überall war er immer. Er hat uns immer so kleine Brotkrümel hingeworfen und hat gesagt, ups, ich hab zu viel gesagt. Adachi, bist du der, der an all dem Morden schuld ist? Ich denke... Wenn das Spiel sich nicht schon wieder aufhängt, ich weiß nicht, was das ist, Mann. Manchmal, manchmal mag das Spiel einfach ein bisschen sich aufhängen. Dann reden wir halt noch ein bisschen. So, jetzt hängt es nicht mehr. Und jetzt werden wir mit dem Adachi erstmal ein ernstes Wörtchen reden. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. <clears throat> What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, That thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? 
For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous! We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in! What did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! What the? I swear he ran this way! Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. 
It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered, but I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her I'm really sorry. Huh? Really? Nana Chance. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. 
My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou art the stable a genius born. This genius born shall be your eyes to see the truth. We best and up indeed the ability to create Halal, the ultimate form of the star Arcana. The Teddy social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Teddy social link. Your power to create personas of the star kind has reached its maximum. Dragonel Maxi has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the star social link, you can now fuse Halal, the light bearer. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his personas as well. Und nun kann er hier auch Elektrizität mit dreifacher Angriff, äh, mit dreifacher Wahrscheinlichkeit ausweichen, was natürlich super ist. Äh, machen wir mal das weg, so. Und das war's natürlich immer noch nicht, denn ihr wisst, was jetzt kommt. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball! Just when we're at a turning... We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. This fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the? 
There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too! Man, where is that bear anyway? Well... I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted! Why aren't you here when we need you most? This place... Uh, I see. I... came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan... I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said, hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um... Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs, too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here, right, Nana-chan? Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rizu-chan! Teddy was with us. 
Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found a dachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Ah, und damit wissen wir, wo die Welt des Fernsehers erstmal wieder verlassen. Richtig weitergekommen sind wir jetzt leider nicht, aber eins ist sicher, Dachi ist hier und wir müssen ihn fangen. Terry ist nun auch wieder in unserer Welt und das ist doch sehr schön, dass er sich wieder entschlossen hat, ja, zu unserer Truppe zu gehören. Ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle machen wir jetzt erstmal einen kleinen Cut. Beim nächsten Mal geht es dann weiter hier mit Persona 4 Golden. Wir werden dann erneut versuchen, in die Welt des Fernsehers zu reisen und, äh, ja, Adachi ausfindig zu machen. Dies werden wir auch tun, aber erst beim nächsten Mal. Bis dahin, auf Wiedersehen, ciao.